Hello and Happy New Year. I'm Wendy Brockman. Hey, it's time to get off the couch. Arvada City Council member Mark McGough has no problem with that. He's a personal trainer and a fitness fanatic. In fact, one day a week, he and a group called the Happy Hikers head outdoors for a Colorado adventure. Our photographer Damon Parrish strapped on the snowshoes and tagged along. It's a snow-packed day in the Rocky Mountains as skiers take to the slopes. This scenic setting in Boulder is the backdrop for a backcountry adventure. How's it going, Mark? It's going really fine. Where are we at today? We're up here at Eldora Ski Area, and we're going to be going out on a trail called Jenny Creek Trail, which is up the hill, and it just kind of goes on the backside of Eldora. It's a Tuesday tradition, and that means the group gears up and gets ready to go. Anybody check out the temperature this morning in here? How about 32 in Netherlands? There are about 20 of them. They call themselves the Happy Hikers. They range in age from 64 to 82. Our Vada City Council member Mark McGough is almost 70. Now this is usually the most difficult part of the, the outing is getting up this first hill. Today, he's leading a team of seven up Jenny Creek Trail. When it's dry, they wear hiking shoes. When it's snowy, they strap on snowshoes. They've hiked all over the state and beyond. Some of us have done hiking trips to Northern Ireland, and some of us have done hiking trips for two weeks to England. So now you get another idea of why it is that we like to snowshoe. It's absolutely beautiful with the snow. It's uh, quiet, it's peaceful, got a beauty all its own in the winter time and we enjoy it a lot. A self-professed fitness buff, Mark McGough does circuit training, weight training, and cardiovascular training. That's where the snowshoes come in. It's the most continuous uh, cardio exercise that I do, where I have my heart rate elevated for two, three, or even four hours at a time while snowshoeing. He wears a cardio monitor and says with each hike, his heart gets stronger. My heart rate presently is only at about 110, but a lot of the times it'll be at 130, 140 beats per minute. And so it gives me a good workout. And my heart rate does stay elevated almost all the time throughout my snowshoeing. So I know I'm getting, I'm building my, building the strength of my heart. With the proper snowshoes, he says anyone of any age can do this. I think the only thing you need to be careful of is to just uh, pause, take a rest when you need to, uh, drink water along the way. And it's most important, to eat really well before you start out on a, a venture like this. A personal trainer can cost $60 to $80 an hour. Hiking outdoors is a low-cost alternative. 
Colorado's backcountry can be unpredictable, but the group is always prepared. Water, snacks, shovels, first aid kits, and two-way radios are a must. You're on your way back up the hill. Judy, this is Mark. Uh, you're really breaking up, Mark, but I do kind of need this. I'm on my way back, and so is Don. Over. Okay, just right. Thanks. Over. Today's 30-inch base provides resistance, and with the extra weight of the snowshoes, your body temperature warms quickly. Mark says you have to be able to add or remove layers of clothing. So the key on a snowshoe trip is to dress appropriately, have the right equipment so that you can stay warm, reasonably warm, so that although you experience the cold, you're not going to be in misery while you're out here. And it's pretty nice today though, huh? Today is uh, pretty nice. Yeah, some of the best snowshoeing weather is when it's 15 or 20 degrees and some sunshine. But they're not always that lucky. Sometimes the snow is deep and the weather can be windy and cold. Two years ago, January, we, we went as a group to Yellowstone. And one day we snowshoed in minus 24. Ooh. But the happy hikers never back down. How you doing? Well, yeah. I'm making it. How about you? Keep moving, that's a plan. solitude in this amazing scenery are a great way to beat the winter blues. Last week we snowshoed for about three hours and never saw another soul outside our group. Very quiet, peaceful. You can get lost in your thoughts just looking up at the trees and listening to the sound of your shoes on the snow. The happy hikers have a camaraderie that comes from being comfortable with each other there's always someone to laugh at their jokes. Yeah, somebody asked me a while back if I woke up grumpy in the morning, but I never do. I just let her sleep. <laughs> They're getting fit and having fun. We don't want to sit at home. We want to do something every Tuesday year round, and we got a great group of people, and this is it. Perfect. And this is how we spend our Tuesdays. You've heard about the book, Tuesdays with Maury? I have. Well, now we have Tuesdays with the happy hikers. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the trip, they know they've had a great workout. I don't know, maybe three miles or something like that. <laughs> Had some good uphill, some good downhill and back. It's been a, overall, it's been a really good day for snowshoeing. It's uh, another great day here in Colorado. And as always, the happy hikers will meet again for another adventure next Tuesday.